Welcome to the Inventi Farmer YouTube channel. This week we're going to look at a feature that Luke built into his spray tender truck this past summer. There's lots of guys overhauling their trailers right now and they're looking for better ways and better things to do on these trucks to make them more efficient and also to just uh, do a better job of handling the chemicals. So we're going to take a look at this real oddball fitting and how Luke used it on his truck. So this is the valves and oddball fitting that I was talking about a moment ago. This fitting right here. What this is used for on Luke's tender truck is to connect to the tote. So the tote would connect here. The liquid from the tote flows through and out through this fitting and out to his measurement um, stack with his mixmate system. But the other thing is when he's ready to disconnect from the tote, it's not nice to spill chemicals. You kind of want to have the line flushed out. So what he can do is feed pressurized rinse into here. It shoots up through into the middle of that fitting and washes back out this direction. So basically you close the valve on the tote, you open this up and flush it through. Watch how he does it. So I just got done mixing our bean uh, post-emerge round and uh, I'm gonna show disconnecting uh, my special bulk setup with the built-in rinse that I have on uh, the tote on this machine. So kind of what we've, we're doing is I've got a stack mounted in my truck and um, this is the suction line to the one stack for measuring out the bulk product. And this other line I have to the pressure side of my rinse pump um, just for doing this. So uh, what we're gonna do now is get this line and the coupler all rinsed out and pushed into the sprayer um, so that it's nice and clean when we unhook and we don't have chemicals spilling out on our truck. So first things first is we're gonna make sure our tote is shut off. Um, they're supposed to have check valves in them, but we wanna make sure we don't push any water back in that. And then uh, I'm going to go into manual mode on my tablet so that I turn the two valves on on the stack so that we can let water through. Um, the two valves are the um, valve that controls which product is going into the stack and then also the valve that um, does the flow regulation for the stack itself. There's two there to get, pr to get product through the stack. So now we've got our tote off, the product line's still on. I'm gonna start my rinse pump and then I have a valve down here to actually start flushing the water through. I also already have the sprayer hooked up and those valves on. So with this I can turn on my flow meter so that I can see how much I've flushed. I'm gonna turn it on and just let it feed water for a bit so that it has time to flush and rinse everything through there. So you've got the uh, flow meter turned on there so you can see how much flow is going. Yep. So there is 10 gallons so far. I'll probably give it um, 20 to 30 just so it has plenty of rinse. Just a little bit more to spray out so it doesn't hurt to rinse a little extra. So the water is just pushing through uh, from the rinse pump through the stack and directly out through to your sprayer. So you don't have the chemical pump running because it's all pressurized. So that was about 26 gallons. Um, now I'm going to shut this off just to contain the extra fluid in there. And we should be ready to pop this open. Um, I have tried the locking cam lock coupler here. And so far I've been really happy with that. 
So we can pop this open and wash all the gravel dust off. But nice and clean, no white, so we got all of the Roundup out of there. Okay, so with it off of here now, I'm going to turn on the rinse so you can see how that shoots up into the coupler and flushes out the tote side of the coupling as well. So I really turned a lot of water through it to get all the products rinsed out really well. So the last thing on this truck that I've done um, is I've actually taken a um, cam lock plug and mounted it onto the back of my truck here. So now that I have this off the tote, I can just lock it right onto that plug. And there it's in its stored transport position. It keeps all the junk out of the end of the coupler. And with the locking coupler, I know it's just going to stay there and not fall down on the road. Cool. So uh, your mix mate's on the ground there. Yep. And it's really dirty from going down the road, but inside it's nice and clean. So let's just take a quick look there. Anyway, uh, how successful was this truck build and how do you like it so far? Um, everything's worked very well. I don't have anything off of the top of my head that I really want to change. So, um, all in all, it's come together pretty well. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. Mm -hmm. As you can see, this does a great job of washing the fitting out. It makes a neat, clean connection. We're not dripping chemicals all over the place. Your exposure is eliminated because when you uncouple, uh, everything's nice and clean. So now that you've seen this running, let's make it easy for you guys to do it. So what we've got here is, here's a picture. We've got a couple of versions of the parts put together. We've got a long neck version, so it has more reach back into the tote, and a short neck version so that it doesn't stick out quite so far. If this looks like a feature you would like to try on your tender trailer, we put together a list of the parts that we use just to make it easy for you. There's also a link to Daltmeyer, which is the easiest place I know of where you can order these parts, and actually the only place I know where you can go and buy this thing. There's probably others, but it's the only one that I know of. Anyway, uh, there's a link, there's a parts list in the description, you can go online and order those parts quite easily. Um, it's one of those things we wanted to help you do. Um, share this idea that has worked well for us. It doesn't require a mix mate system. Uh, if you're pulling your chemicals by Venturi, it works that way. The fact is, it makes it really easy to clean that line out. And so you're not spilling chemicals when you disconnect from that tote. So enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, glad to have you here on the Inventing Farmer YouTube channel. We've got lots of fun things coming. 